हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ तुषार शाह एंड आई एम प्रोसिंग बी एल एल बी फ्रॉम जे सी सी एल सी कोलकाता करेंटली आई एम ए लीगल इंटर्न एट लेक्सिस इन कंपनी लॉ फॉर्म सो टूडे आई एम गॉन अ डिस्कस अबाउट ए वेरी टूडे आई एम डिस्कस अबाउट गुड रिमोटनेस ऑफ डैमेज इन टॉट सो द जनरल रूल ऑफ टॉट रिक्वायर्स एज द पर्सन हू कमिट ए टॉट ऑट इज लाइबल फॉर लाइबल टू पे द डैमेजेस बट वॉट इज द रिमोटनेस ऑफ डैमेजेज एट वॉट आर्ट मीन्स इफ यू कमिट एनी एनी एक्ट एक्ट सो देर वुड बी कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ द एक्ट एंड यू रिक्वायर्ड टू पे द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज बट देर आर कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज एंड सेम द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज सो एट वॉट एक्सटेंड द डिपेंडेंट्स लाइबिलिटी शुड बी ई फॉर टू पे द डैमेजेस सो दिस इज द रिमोटनेस ऑफ डैमेजेस अबाउट or about that at to what extent the defendant liability should 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 be for the to pay the damages so we have to understand this as uh, let us uh, uh, we know that uh, the about uh, we know that uh, for a lim for a layman and uh, 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 remoteness of damages is hard to understand so we we are going to take uh, we are going to take an a, an simple example to understand what is remoteness of damages so uh, so the example is is that uh, let's suppose that you are driving in a car or and uh, you are driving a car negligently and and there is a person a pedestrian walking uh, walking in uh, in the road but and you hit and you hit him with your car but the pedestrian was carrying a bomb with him and when you when you hit him with a car the bomb explodes and with that explosion the building thing which is nearby it it falls and the persons which are living in that which are in that building thing also dies so in this case you hit a pedestrian and uh, uh, you hit a pedestrian and you are liable for that but if you are said that you are liable for the uh, persons who who died it uh, uh, in that bomb blast and and the damage is uh, damaged uh, to the building uh, damaged and you have to pay damages to the you have to pay compensation to their family members and you have also to pay damages as uh, to the and you have also to pay damages uh, damage for uh, to the building owner uh, for the damage to the building are you liable for are uh, you should be liable you should not be liable because uh, Because you only hit that person, you can't foresee that a reasonable person can't foresee that that the person will be carrying a bomb, and if we if we hit a pedestrian, there will be a bomb blast. So you can't be held liable for the consequences of of the act of the pedestrian. So, oh, we have to understand how, at what extent, the remoteness of damages can be applied. to answer this question the um, um, the jurist have said that uh, at the uh, defendant should be liable for or only the proximate act proximate it uh, consequences of his wrong of the defendant's wrongful act so we have to understand this by an example all, all of the famous case law scott versus shepard so in this case what happens is that at uh, uh, the defendant uh, has light up up and lighted uh, through a lighted strip up into a crowd and uh, the strip fell fell on a person b b in order to prevent injury to himself through the strip further it landed on on another person c who in turn threw it further and it finally exploded on a person d thereby injuring him as a result of the explosion d lost his eyes so in this case a was head like d to d although one would say that his act was as the farthest from the injury to d his act was held proximate cause of the injury to d so the what basically what what happened is that at the court held that this was uh, this can be the proximate cause cause to the injury to d so this can be you can foresee that it can injure any person's eyes so oh, there is another uh, Our uh, famous case law, Haynes versus Harbour. In historically famous, uh, in this historically famous case, the servants of the defendant, owing to their negligence, abandoned a horse van and on a crowded street. So basically, in a crowded street, the defendants 
the defendant's servant had uh, left an horse van in a crowded street and uh, the street had children and women street some children pelted stones at at the horses so in this in the street there were children and women and some children some naughty children uh, pelted uh, pelted stones at the horse some so, uh, as a result of which is the horse bolted and started posing threat to the safety of the people in the street so the horse bolted and it started posing threat to the safety of the people in the street and to rescue the woman and the children a policeman the plaintiff here suffered injuries himself and to rescue the uh, woman and the children in the street a policeman and which is also a plaintiff here uh, suffered injuries in a lawsuit brought by the plaintiff against the defendant one defense pleaded was that novus actor in surveillance so the uh, defendant pleaded a defense of novus actus intervenus that the damages were too remote reportness of consequences again in this case the court held that novus actus intervenus was not a valid defense and the negligent act of the defendant servants leaving the horse when unattended as a proximate cause of the injury suffered by the plaintiff so oh, what was the proximate cause here held that uh, the defendant and servant and and had had left the horse unattended in a crowded street so this is the remoteness so the remoteness of damage could not uh, could not be used as a defense here so oh guys thank you this is all this is to sarja signing off